During this video, we will guide you step by step through the planning and conducting of online meetings with a distributed team. We will show you the tools for communication, reporting, document sharing, and collaboration on projects. We start by creating the account on the Click Meeting platform and logging in. After logging in, you will be redirected to your account panel. You can start working from here and plan your first online meeting. A meeting is something different than a webinar. During a meeting, each attendee can turn on their microphone and speak at any given moment. The maximum number of speakers is 25. Click the Schedule Meeting button in the upper corner of the main page of the account panel. Start from the basics. Come up with the right name for your meeting. Name the event in a way that your attendees will understand its purpose. Avoid titles like Meeting 1. This will also help you finding the conference on the list by its name. Note that the name of the meeting is visible in the event URL, your virtual conference room. Then, determine the type of the room. The time scheduled room will let you set up a specific date and hour of your event. Make sure you set up the right time zone. If you are working on a project that requires multiple meetings and you do not want to create a new meeting and send invitations every time, we have a solution for you. A permanent room will be a meeting place for you and your team. The room will always be open and you can join it at any time to discuss current topics and exchange files. Access type is another important setting. By default, the event is open to all. This means that everyone who receives the event link will be able to join it. However, if you organize business meetings concerning confidential information, it is worth securing the event with a password or a token. Okay, the meeting is ready. You can click the Create and Invite button now. Let's move on to inviting attendees. Click the Invite People option. If you would like someone besides you to host the meeting, choose Presenters. But now, we will invite only attendees. The easiest way to invite attendees is the Copy and Paste option. Simply paste the previously prepared list of email addresses into the field below and confirm. We also choose an email template for the invitation. Remember that when you click the Invite button, the email invitations will be sent automatically from the Click Meeting platform. Now, your event is scheduled and the invitations are sent. The meeting will appear on the My Events list. The easiest way to view the list is to click on the Click Meeting logo in the top left-hand corner. Each created event has a unique address. If you would like to invite someone from outside the invitees list, just copy and send them the link with the address of the event. To make sure your device is prepared to run the event without any problems, use the System Configuration Test option. Go to the Details section available on the right side of your event. You will find the System Configuration Test link at the bottom of the page. It would be great if your attendees performed this test as well. They will find a link to it in the invitation email and on the page where they join the event. Now is the right time to enter the meeting room to prepare and test everything in advance. You are now in the meeting room. If you are going to show a presentation, you can now upload it using the Presentation option in the menu on the left side and then click the Upload File button. Besides presentations, you can also upload videos, text files, or spreadsheets. Make sure that your file does not exceed 500 megabytes. To display a presentation, click on its icon. Use arrows to change slides. Let's take a look at the presentation window again by clicking the plus icon. If you would like to share some files for download, select the appropriate icon next to the file. Go to the Event Board section. Your attendees will be able to download shared files from here. Before starting your event, make sure once more that your microphone and camera are working and you do not have another application running in the background, such as Skype. To enable audio and video, click two red icons available in the AV pod. Your browser may display a message requesting permission to access your webcam and mic you must grant such permissions. Click the Settings icon if you have more than just one camera or microphone. 
Here, you can choose a device that you would like to use. At the preparation stage, you can enable the recording of the event. Let your attendees know they do not have to take notes during the event and should stay focused on discussion and solution. They will get access to the recording after the session is over. The preparation phase is over. You can start your meeting at any time. To do so, click the Start Event button, available on the left bottom corner of the screen. Start the meeting by displaying the presentation or use this view. If, at any time during the meeting, you want the rest of the attendees to just listen, then you should go for a webinar in the lower left-hand corner of the room. To return the previous settings, just use the same menu and switch back to the meeting mode. Now, all your attendees are free to speak. What should you do if one of the attendees does not have access to a computer? Nothing prevents them from actively joining the meeting by phone. The meeting room is fully responsive which means that it easily runs on any smartphone with internet access. There is also an option to dial into the meeting via a traditional telephone network. The phone number is given in the Event Board tab and the invitation. During a meeting, you also have access to several important interactive tools. A chat is a useful addition to the event. Good practice in larger groups is to mute your microphone while someone else is speaking. In order not to interrupt others' speech, you can write in the chat box instead. If necessary, here you can turn on the moderation mode or turn off the chat completely. After the meeting, you can download the chat history. Another useful tool during a meeting is Whiteboard, where you can write and draw. The full set of tools can be found in the bar at the bottom of the screen. The whiteboard also allows you to solve problems together. All you have to do is run the Collaborate function. At the end of the event, you can save the content from the whiteboard as a PDF file. Another useful collaboration tool is screen sharing. If you want to show your attendees what's on your screen, just select the screen sharing option in the left menu. I have used this feature before to show how to set up the event. This is the easiest way to share an online document, desktop, browser window, or running application. At this stage, you should be able to plan the event, upload and run the presentation, communicate through microphone and chat, and collaborate with the attendees of your meeting. If you are ready to end the meeting, click the End Event button in the bottom left corner of the screen. Good luck!